So, okay, guys, we can continue our lesson, uh, our third lesson for today. Uh, okay, so I think uh, uh, we can start. Uh, okay, we have finished uh, to work on this uh, on this project. We have created this surface. It's a bit complicated, maybe for us, uh, but uh, it is actually it's actually a really simple surface. So. Uh, and uh, let's uh, try to work uh, on this surface. It's really easy to create. Okay, uh, so um, there is a, there is a 3D model, 3D view or isometric view of this uh, surface. It is not uh, it is not created uh, it is not created a solid body using this surface. It is not the uh, crucial. It's not important. We can. Uh, every single time we can uh, use uh, this created surface to create solid body. So we have here uh, two views, one and two. So let's start. Uh, create generative shape design. Uh, once again, uh, I suggest you to use this option, which is create a geometrical set. Okay. So. Uh, what I want to uh, use first, probably, probably, uh, I will create, uh, I will create this shape uh, using using a sketch on a YZ plane. Okay, uh, so I have here, I have here. A line, horizontal line, which is this part, which is this part, okay. Another vertical line, okay. Uh, somewhere maybe here, and uh, an arc between these two, and actually uh, here, here. This arc and line are tangency, but here there is no tangency, as I understand. Okay, um, let's look at this. Probably, uh, probably there is also a line here. Probably uh, it should be something like this, maybe. And uh, I'm gonna create. Uh, okay, I'm gonna create some kind of arc some kind of arc like this so make this arc tangency to this one and the tangency also to this one i think it should be so i double click on uh, this constraint select this one and select this one by right clicking i make them tangency and uh, then select this one and select this one by right clicking make the tangency just like this and uh, these two points these two points should also be coincidence okay i click once again constraint select uh, this point select this point by right clicking make them coincidence i think uh, the shape in general should be like this so what about dimensions what about what about dimensions so i have here as you can see the dimension of uh, this horizontal part of 30.5 millimeters so this is about this 30.5 millimeters just like this and uh, there is the information of uh, about radius which probably should be it is it should it shouldn't be four it should be four. It is about, it is maybe forty millimeters. Um, it's a bit wrong information here. It should be forty millimeters. So let's try to create a radius over here and uh, try to uh, define it as uh, forty millimeters, something like this. And uh, so okay. And uh, I would I would create coincidence constraint between this point and origin in order to understand what kind of uh, 
uh, additional additional constraints we need to create okay so I click on constraint select this point and select also this point by right clicking make them coincidence just like this and uh, I, sh I can maybe uh, okay that's uh, oh. uh, okay okay I should uh, delete this <laughs> This coincidence, uh, this coincidence icon between this point and y axis. Okay, so then I will be able to create this kind of uh, to 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 uh, move this one. So I think uh, in order to uh, um, create it in right place, uh, I delete uh, for now this uh, tangency. Okay, just like this, just like this. Okay, something like this. And once again, once again, uh, recreate, uh, sorry, recreate uh, tangency constraint between these two. That's okay. So, the next uh, I can create probably this one, the 50 millimeters between this point and this line. So uh, that means that means the distance between this line and uh, this x-axis should be 50 millimeters. Okay. Um, so just like this. And what else? I have also this dimension, 59. I think th I think that, that that will be enough. Uh, this is the distance between this one and uh, this point. It should be 59. Actually, I see that uh, that is not enough. That is not enough. Uh, do I have uh, any other dimension? Actually, no. No, there is no uh, there is no information about this uh, this uh, side. That's uh, that's strange. That's strange. Uh, how can we define them? That's strange. Okay, let's. Uh, um, so I don't know how to define this. Because there is no information. Oh, okay, okay. There is an, an angle of 30 degrees here. See? That's okay. So, the angle between this line and this line is uh, 30 degrees. Okay. So, create a constraint between this uh, line and this line, uh, and uh, that will be 30 degrees. That's all. Our sketch is ready for now. That's enough for now. I exit sketch workbench. It is fully constrained. It is fully constrained. So I exit sketch workbench and I'm gonna create an extrude using this this form. So the extrude uh, should be uh, of uh, 70 millimeters uh, length, which is this one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna create uh, extrude extrude using this one. This one uh, direction. Uh, Default sketch normal is okay for me. Is okay for me. It is a uh, x-axis. It is normal actually to my sketch plane. So uh, I'm gonna select. Uh, I'm gonna uh, define here uh, 35 millimeters as dimension and create mirrored extent uh, extrude. So I used mirrored extent. So in total, so uh, from middle to this side 35 millimeters to this side another side uh, 35 millimeters in total. Uh, overall dimension is uh, 70 millimeters. That's all. That's okay. So uh, I think uh, the base, the base surface uh, is ready. I don't need uh, this sketch one anymore. Uh, I want to create. I I, I want to hide this. But right here, right here, I want to show you one important thing, which can be really useful for you. It is not. Uh, it is not. Uh, uh, imp uh okay you can you can uh, not to use this 
not to use this uh, since we are working on generative uh, shape design we uh, uh, we uh, hide and show a lot of uh, a lot of elements so uh, hide show actually this tool is used really a lot in this mod so uh, probably probably it will be useful it will be useful to use uh, uh, this uh, tool um, on your keyboard using hotkey so what can i do here first of all i want to find this hide show tool on my menu bar it is probably here inside of view menu bar and as you can see it is here this one hide show and uh, this one the tool name it the tool uh, uh, the tool's name is hide slash show so i right click anywhere on my toolbar okay click on customize and uh, open this window open this window so i op i open uh, commands on the left side on the left list i click i select view and on the right side i look for hide show tool okay where is it uh sorry uh this one over here okay uh actually uh sorry uh it should it should like uh, it should look like this and uh, i click on hide show i select it and uh, click on show properties button and uh, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, mm, hotkey i can select for this hide show okay maybe uh maybe it can be uh, control control plus plus h maybe okay and close so now what can i do here i uh, press control h button okay this hide show is activated automatically as you can see here i click i, I push ctrl h button once again and it is deactivated okay so i activate it select this sketch okay it is hidden now i can uh, i can uh, re reuse it again i click uh, i i push ctrl and h and uh, click on uh, sketch one now it is shown like this okay it is a, a bit a little information for you a little maybe useful information for you when you are uh, when you work uh, uh, when you want to work uh, uh, really fast okay uh, this can be really useful so let's continue uh, let's back to our uh, surface we are working on and uh, here let's look at this i should create uh, uh, a sketch like this in which uh, the red okay it should be uh, a circle of radius 25 and using this i want to create a surface just like this so okay mm, so what can i do here what can i do here mm. Uh, okay, let's uh, look at this 7.5, 7.5 overall uh, 15, 15, uh, 15 plus uh, 50, 50 plus 15, it is uh, 65, but here, here, overall dimension is 70 so five millimeters are hidden somewhere here and here between these two the distance here 2.5 and distance here is also 2.5 i think i should create uh, something like uh, 
a line let's uh, let's try to do this okay so I'm gonna I want to create uh, uh, another sketch another sketch on uh, the ZX plane which is this one and uh, I create a circle somewhere here maybe here just like this and uh, it is uh, diameter the circles this circles diameter will be 50 millimeters okay that's all and uh, there is a distance between uh, the bottom point of my circle and the bottom point of my part i create a constraint between this by uh, this side and the x axis it is 27 millimeters 27 that's all so uh, okay probably probably i should create uh, uh, somewhere here a line what can i do here first of all first of all uh, i want to uh, create a projection of uh, this part of this line to my sketch plane actually to my sketch so i select this line and click on projection okay so the center of my uh, the center of my uh, circle is defined already that's okay i don't care about this and uh, i make this projected element uh, construction one just like this and uh, okay i want to create uh, somewhere here a line maybe no okay let's do this let's back assume uh, this one is not construction element for now i'm gonna create a line from here to here okay somewhere here it doesn't matter and uh, there is a distance between these two points distance between these two points will be 7.5 millimeters something like this and this line this line should be tangency to this circle okay click on constraint select this line and select this circle and make them tangency by right clicking just like this that's enough for me and uh, i think i create uh, i create uh, mm, mirror image of this line select this line click on mirror and uh, as a reference element i select y axis this one okay and uh, what else i think uh, i wanna uh, trim uh, not use it uh, elements using quick trim which is this one i don't need this part I also don't need this part and this part and I also need don't need this part okay actually I don't need also these two parts okay I need only this one this shape and uh, now my sketch is fully constrained I don't need anything anymore anything more here I just exit sketch workbench and create extrusion extrude surface using this this uh, sketch tool this profile so extrude i use this one and uh, probably i also uh, i need only one side extrusion just like this another side and uh, the dimension probably will be more than uh, okay that's enough that's okay for me let's look at the my sh okay that's enough i click on okay and uh, i want to use uh, uh, trim using these two extrude one and extrude two i don't need this sketch two i i, I press uh, ctrl h on my keyboard and select this sketch two that's all and uh, i use uh, trim which is this one trim uh okay to this list i want to add uh, 
this extrude 1 and extrude 2. I just click on extrude 1 on my tree specification and extrude 2 also. So, which part I need to, I want to save? Okay, maybe this one and uh, this one. That's okay for me. And I click on OK. So this shape, this shape is okay for me. So what is next? Here, there is only one thing I need to define. I need to add, which is actually, uh, which is actually this hole. So how can I uh, create this? How can I create this? First of all, uh, let's try to uh, let's try uh, to create a sketch to create a sketch on uh, this y z plane, which is this one, this plane. Okay, and somewhere here, I want to create a circle. And what about dimensions? It is radius is 15 millimeters, something like this, and uh, there are two dimensions. This one, 30 millimeters, and this one, 20 millimeters. Okay, let's grade them. So uh, the radius or the diameter of this is 30 millimeters. Okay, something like this. And the, the distance between uh, that uh, between this point, between this point and the x-axis should be should be this one. Okay, that's correct. So it should be 30 millimeters, something like this. And uh, there is also another dimension, which is uh, the distance between this point and uh, this side, which is uh, 20 millimeters. Double click on this dimension and uh, define it as 20 millimeters, something like this. So, okay. So I think uh, my sketch is ready. Uh, I can uh, exit sketch workbench, it is fully constrained. It is fully constrained and uh, exit sketch workbench. And uh, I want to create another. I want to create another extrusion, which is this one, to both directions. The distance is not so important. I mean, uh, the dimension, the dimension or the length or. Of my extrusion is not so important for me. Uh, it should be just. Uh, it should be enough. It should. It should be uh, in general. It should be more than seven. Uh, more than thirty-five millimeters uh, to both sides, just like this, probably. And I click on OK. Uh, I also uh, here. I don't need this uh, sketch three. Uh, I make it hidden, uh, just like this. So I think I, I'm gonna use. Uh, Another trim using these two. Okay, is this okay? If I, oh, okay. First of all, first of all, I think I should use uh, intersection uh, curve. I should create intersection curve. Okay, Be because uh, I need uh, to create here. Uh, I need to create here uh, a curve. Of intersection and uh, along this intersection, uh, I'm gonna trim this part. Okay, just like this. So I click on this section, select this one, this surface, and select this surface. Okay, and I click on OK. So intersection is created, but right now, right now, I don't need extrude three. Okay. I press Ctrl H on my keyboard and select extrude 3. I just need this intersection curve. Using this intersection curve, I can trim this part. I think uh, uh, I use a split tool. So element to cut will be this one. And the cutting element this one will be this one, intersection 1. OK, just like this. And I click on OK. And uh, I make uh, hidden this intersect one, just like this. Okay. So I think uh, my surface, my surface is ready now. So I don't need, uh, I, uh, I need uh, nothing more, I guess. 
Okay, so let's uh, color it. Uh, let's color it just maybe like this. Just like this. So that's an, that's all.